rocking on the beach on Saturday night, all right. The advanced lift variations we will show you could be used in any order you like to build your own routine. These dance variations can be used with Lindy Hop, Jive, Jitterbug and Rockabilly or just look fantastic under the general name of rock and roll. All lift demonstrations are performed by experienced professional people. If you would like professional guidance, then help can be obtained by using the contact number at the end of this program. Some important tips before we begin. Warm up before practice. Have a regular partner who you can trust and follow safety precautions from your instructor. We wish you great rock and roll dancing in the future and enjoy. Facing each other and pulling the woman in his left hand and catching her around the waist with both hands, he then lifts her to sit on his right hip. The woman must make her legs as straight as possible. He then swings her out in front and repeats the move to his left hip. Then, swinging the woman out again, the woman opens her legs to catch the man around the waist. When she is secure on his waist, he bends forward to rest her on the front of both his thighs. Then, raising the woman above his head, the woman rests her elbows on the man's shoulders. On this upward movement, the woman keeps her legs bent until the last possible moment. Then she extends her legs and arches her back to reach the 12 o'clock position. The move is completed by the woman dropping back into a straddle position where the man can lift her into the standing position. Like the last lift, everything is the same until the woman is at the 12 o'clock position. When this point is reached, the man bends his legs, then straightens them to jerk the woman off his shoulders, whilst leaning slightly forward, allowing the woman to drop down behind his back. He catches the woman by her legs as she grabs a hold of his waist. He then puts his left hand behind his back to hook the woman's leg behind her knee. He then bends forward to collect the back of her neck with his right hand and rocks her through his legs to return her to the standing position. variation on the first move and starts in the same manner. The woman opens her legs to catch the man around the waist. When the woman is secure on his waist, he bends forward to rest the woman on the front of his thighs. As he raises her and throws her over his head, the woman dives towards the floor over his back. She catches him around the waist and he puts his left hand behind his back to hook the woman's right leg behind the knee. Then, Bending forward to collect the back of the woman's neck with his right hand, he rocks her through his legs to return her to the standing position. Facing each other 
The woman bends forward at the waist and he walks a step in to collect the woman under the waist with both hands in an overlapping grip. He then raises her torso up and over his head, which should be tilted to the right to allow clearance as the woman passes over. Passing over the back, he allows her to slide down his back to the floor. Both have their arms extended to the sides as the woman lands on the floor. Facing each other, the woman taking a large rock back with her right leg throws herself up into a cradle position to be held by the man. Rotating his upper torso to raise her legs high up over his left shoulder, he then swings her body across his body from his left to right to gain full momentum. Holding the woman around the waist with his right arm, he passes her around and over his back. When she is across the man's back, he hooks his left arm behind her knees and swings her around into the cradle position once again. This move can be repeated two or three times, depending on the height that the woman can achieve on his back each time around. Facing each other and taking a large rock back step with her right leg, then throwing herself up as if going into a cradle position, the man lifts her up and over his left shoulder to position her so that the small of the woman's back is behind his neck. He completes the move by using his right hand to push her legs around his neck like a scarf in an anti-clockwise direction. Catching her in a momentary cradle position, he can push her around again two or three times as long as she falls into the correct position behind his neck. Facing each other, and the woman taking a large rock back step with her right leg, throws herself up as if going into a cradle position. The man lifts her up and over his left shoulder to position her so that the small of the woman's back is behind his neck. He then rotates her in an anti-clockwise direction, placing one hand under the woman's right armpit and the other hand up between her thighs to grip her left leg. On positioning her left arm at her left side, and her right hand behind the man's left elbow. The man bobs down to gain momentum, then pushes up with his legs and arms at the same time, pushing the woman above his head. All this is done whilst rotating and keeping the woman's centre of gravity above his head. When ready, he bends his head forward and allows the woman to fall behind his neck. Completing the move by pushing the woman's legs, using his right hand around his neck like a scarf in an anti-clockwise direction and catching her in the cradle position. Pushing the woman into a clockwise spin as she completes a half turn to face the same direction, he places his left hand in the small of the woman's back 
and squats down and takes a firm grip of her right ankle. The woman then jumps as high as she can, whilst the man extends his left hand above his head and pushing up with his right hand. As the woman reaches maximum height, she arches her back and extends her arms out for balance. Complete the move by allowing the woman to fall until she sits on his shoulder, then lowering her into the standing position. Facing each other and taking a large rock back step with her right leg, then throwing herself up as if going into a cradle position, the man lifts her up and over his left shoulder while pushing her with his right hand. He leans forward a little and guides the woman around his back, using his left arm hooking her around the waist. As she passes behind him, she places her left hand on his left shoulder. Her right hand is placed on his right shoulder and this maintains her position high on his back. As her legs come around to his right side, he twists his body slightly, using his right hand to catch the woman by her right leg just below the buttocks, allowing herself to come around to where he can again push her with his right hand and force her to go around again to repeat the cycle. Finish this lift by flipping the woman up over his left arm into the standing position at his side or in front. And a 